Hi, my name is Marissa and together with my close friend Mika, I've been traveling through Thailand with a backpack. I'll share some tips along the way and probably also a lot of don'ts. But hey, that's the fun of traveling, right? So let's get started. And it goes like this. We get in your car and you need to kiss me. We talk for hours and night on the backseat. enjoying a very nice swimming pool. We're currently staying at Villa de Cao San Hotel, which is a very well-located um, hotel. It's on, on Cao San Road, and I believe that's a very famous road in, um, in Bangkok. This is our first full day here. We arrived yesterday. Yesterday we went to the Sirocco Bar. Yeah. It was really, really good, um, but also really, really expensive. Yeah, really um, prepared. The thing is, you have to take a cocktail and uh, well, we thought mm, if it's too expensive, we'll take a cola. That's not an option. No, you have to, <laughs> you take, have to one. take one, and that's like 20 euros each or 30 euros each. So it's pretty expensive, but, but it's worth it. It's very well worth it. Yeah. Siroko has a very nice view of pretty much the entirety of Bangkok. You can do almost do a full 360 around the building, and they have a restaurant. It's it's very pretty. So that's a tip. We'll give you more tips, I'm sure. But right now we're going to take a dip in the pool. Because <laughs> it's hot. Oh, yes. So obviously what we didn't know when we were taking a dip in the pool was that traffic and transport in general in Bangkok is very different. Uh, we decided to save some cash and use a water cab or water taxi. And let's just say that can be a bit chaotic. However, it works pretty easily. These ladies will give you a ticket and then you'll board your boat. Just make sure you're stepping on the right boat and not <laughs> on the boat that goes the other, other way, because we did that. Um. Yeah, and you can actually see in which direction they go by using Google Maps and figuring out the direction that the boat needs to go. But the, this is one of the orange boats that we're talking about. This is a local taxi boat and you can see, you can find them or recognize them by the orange flag at the end of the boat. It's very important that you take the orange one because there you pay local prices. Um, though it is a bit cramped and it really is like a taxi and it stops in every dock station. It works pretty easily and it's very cheap. to by boat, by taxi boat. You just got off, there's the entrance, you buy a ticket and then you go in and get a complimentary water bottle with it, which is nice. But um, this is the temple. It's um, very pretty. Humid heat is so hot. 
it's very hard to keep <laughs> to be this active <laughs> even though we only took like a water taxi we had a massage and now we're in the temple so, yeah. be prepared for Bangkok's heat to be fair Mika and I both had a hard time adjusting to the buzzing city of Bangkok especially since one of us was a little jet lagged I won't say who it was Hi. <laughs> I'm Mika <laughs> Life's fast in Bangkok, there's a lot going on, but it all just works together. It's an amazing city and I definitely wouldn't skip it, just because it's such a cool introduction, introduction to the Thai culture. Also, Bangkok works as a center uh, point for most tours. If you're a bit lazy or like us don't have so much time, then I'd highly recommend you to use a get your guide, you can book them online or find the nearest tour operator in, in, in your street or in your neighborhood because trust me they're everywhere and book day tours that's how Mika and I booked our cycling uh, tour we did the three hour though there is a five hour option and um, well you could choose that if you want to die and this was the location of the cycling tour it was run by Coven Castle which is a Dutch company and as you can expect, almost everyone in our group was Dutch. Yes, because we Dutchies, we love to cycle in a very big city. Because we're crazy. And I've been dreaming of you. second full day here our third official day but, um, it's nice and now we're on our way to get a grab because that's an app you really need to download grab it's a way to use taxis here you can order a taxi at a certain pickup point and then they can pick you up and bring you to whatever place you want to go and it's a good way to get around uh, Bangkok yeah, the three hour, I really recommend the three hour uh, bike tour because like three hours is long enough. It's very hard, hot. You start early morning around, you started at eight. eight. Yeah. And then you're done at around 11, 12 ish. It's like perfect time to get, grab some lunch um, and not die on a bike because you are sweating a lot. It's very hot. Please use sunscreen or any type of sun protection like a hat um, but yeah we always bring like, a bottle of water with us or we stop at the 7-elevens they are open 24 hours a day um, to buy water because <laughs> please really you need to hydrate in this in this temperature <laughs> This is Wat Po. Um, this, is one, this is the first in a list of six royal temples, and um, it's very big, different than the ones that we went to yesterday. But uh, Mika and I both agreed that this would be the last temple of Bangkok because it's pretty, but after a while, you get used to it. Yeah, that will be good. But I feel like it's India. I can go to Oh well. And I'm going to a partner. Rambutri, Rambutri yeah. Alley, something like that. 
and right now we're heading to Kaosan Road, which is very close to our hotel. So yeah, now off to Kaosan Road. Markets and um, another market. I forgot the name. It's very hard to pronounce. Mao Flo. Mao. Yeah. That. Oh yeah. The train market and a floating don. Dom. Dom. Dom Nun market. I believe it's a full day tour. So yeah, we'll see how today goes. This market, by the way, is outside of Bangkok. I think we already saw the biggest highlights of Bangkok. Um, so you could say. We're checking that off right now. We spent three lovely days in Bangkok, but now the actual backpacking starts. So, on the next Thailand vlog, a boat crashes into us. Mika and I do some stretches. I eat a dirty sandwich. And Mika throws a bottle. Mika! <laughs> 